Breaking news. Buhari is not talking to Russell. Despite the height of insecurity, Northern Elder Professor Husman says, Hello, my wonderful people. The Northerners are tired of their brother they brought in. Tell her make him resign. Now the North go first. Hammer you. Did you see what happened in recent days? Easter message precisely. Uh, the bishop, you know, Koka said Buhari will rather speak with those who are destroying the nation rather than speaking to Nigerians, empathizing, sympathizing, and speaking in terms of what he has done to ensure assure the people that is working to bring about, you know, sanity in government and to make people, you know, have confidence in his administration. He's keeping malice with Nigerians. Buhari is keeping malice with Nigerians. He's not talking to anybody. He's not talking to anybody. He's rather talking to his own people, his own self, and doing his own thing. Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Buhari is not talking to us. Despite the height of insecurity, Northern Elder Professor Husman says, a Northern Elder and former security and former secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Husman Yusuf, recently spoke on the growing issue of insecurity in the country and how the Northern Health Elders have responded to it. This was after the social political organization Northern Elder Forum called on President Muhammad Buhari to immediately resign from office for not combating the worsening security situation in the country. The Northern Elder says, the man does not even communicate with us or understand what is going on. Reacting to the call, the Northern Elder Forum Professor Yusuf lamented that the growing issue of insecurity in the north, northern part of the country, he has expressed displeasure of how this issue is being handled. So, you hearing that Buhari is for the north, it's a lie. We are frustrated with this man. Everyone, the president constituted this duty, he, he, he took on the duty to protect us, and he's not doing anything. The northern elders are being castigated by his aides, who should tell him the truth that the nation is not working. The northern elders did not take this decision lightly. All the people of the north and the south, everyone is tired. Insecurity is everywhere. We can't fold our arms anymore. I have been voicing out in this forum about insecurity. We don't see the IDPs before this government came in. The land is drenched with insecurity. President Muhammad Buhari is not talking to us despite the heightened insecurity. We all hear the talk and hear all we hear is from the public and we hear from his aides, but not Buhari himself. It seems the man is not bothered or cannot be consigned with the issue of what is going on in Nigeria, does not want to have anything to do and just counting out his days of retirement and cannot be bothered with the current situation plaguing the nation. Buhari does not care what happens to Nigerians. He's, in response, he's, a, he's a very irresponsible president, and so nobody should think he's working for the North. No, he's not a Northern leader. He's a man of his own who has no affiliation or truth with regards to anybody. Buhari does not talk to us. He does not listen to us, and we don't, we don't know what's happening in those areas. We only hear from his aides who truly, sincerely speaking, do not communicate positively well with Nigerians, rather castigation and speaking in terms of those who want to bring down Buhari's government, rather than telling us what the government is doing to protect the people. I'm glad that um, this is coming from a northern governor, a professor at that, who can see for themselves that um, this administration and Buhari and those he has surrounded themselves with are all frauds. Okay, the people and everybody is calling out to Buhari to resign. Resign, resign, resign has become the order of the day. Everybody keeps telling Buhari, it's about time. Leave the place. You have done enough. We can't continue with you like this. I mean, for far too long, things have gone on and um, we don't want this to continue anymore. President Muhammad Buhari came on the back that this is very insecurity which is now you know plaguing the country he's going to work at it and he's going to see to it that it comes to an end that is the very sad same point that is destroying the nation in no small way 
Nothing has been done in that regard in that light. Buhari, in fact, has deceived Nigerians like no other leader. He's deceived the country in no small way. People are tired. People are sincerely tired and cannot even begin to imagine, you know, at you know, the heights of how things, how bad things are. You, you heard them. He said he's not talking to us. He's not talking to them. He's not does not even want to. I mean, he's just living his, in his own bubbles. Okay, he wants to just finish and leave the position and have nothing to do with anybody. Okay, he's just there and he's just marking time. He can't wait to leave. You know that that's it. He can't wait to leave. He has spent the maximum time he should spend in office. And then what what more? What what more? What more is there? So this is Buhari for you. These are northern elders coming out to say, please guys, don't think that uh, Buhari is for us or we are the same people. We are not in synergy. We are not working together as one. We are tired. We are equally very tired. And we can't begin to tell you how devastated the north is. But who are those who are only... Before you say Buhari should resign, they have responded. Who are the people? Who are those wicked set of people who will not even allow Nigerians to speak? Before somebody says Buhari has done, before you say Jack Robinson, they are ready on you. So these are some of the things going on right now. And the time to, you know, for advancement and for things to change is now. You know, the insecurity has beclouded the country and people are terribly tired. You know, when somebody is out, is, is, is out for, you know, due to fatigue. The person has, you know, fatigue. The person has, uh, has gone through it and they say, my gosh, I, I can't have enough. I can't have it anymore. I've had enough. I've had enough. So these are some of the things going on, my wonderful people. Northern elders are coming out. Disclaimer, we don't have anything to do with this Buhari. We want him out like yesterday. You know, anybody that speaks now and say Buhari should go becomes the enemy of the state. Should he be like that? If we re really we elected him in as a president... Does he not have a responsibility to us? So why do they make it look like he cannot speak to Nigerians and anybody calls for him to answer to the questions on what is going on, then they come at you as though you have spoken a taboo. This is why the country is still where it is today. And we need God to help us get things back on track. Maybe we came out too early in independence. I don't know. Maybe Nigeria was not ready for independence when, when she did. Maybe it was just too early. Maybe, you know, because all disposition shows that, you know, things are not, uh, are not what we thought. So the time to make a dif difference is now. Please, let's do what we can to make that difference. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.